Hey everyone, my name is Don Farwell. I run Earwig Recording Studio in Seattle, Washington. And welcome back to Earwig Recording Tips number seven. Today we are recording drums using only four inexpensive microphones. I chose the Shure SM57 because they are so common. A lot of people have them already. Uh, but the whole point is you don't need to go out and buy a bunch of new stuff. You can just use the microphones you already have. We've got a 57 on the kick, one on the snare, and two in an overhead pattern that is called the Glenn Johns method. And this is kind of a modified Glenn Johns. It's just kind of how I like to record stereo drums in a very simple way. So the main trick to this is getting the overheads right. If you aim this overhead down on the rack tom and make sure that it's two and a half sticks away by measuring from the center of the snare, and then you can just rotate that over towards the other microphone, it should be about the same distance. So this will make sure that these are in phase and if you hard pan them left and right, the snare will still be in the middle. Uh, the other trick is to flip the phase on both of these microphones and the snare drum, and then everything should, should sound good uh, when you listen to them all together. So I'm gonna play a little bit of drums. I'm gonna add lots of toms so you can hear the stereo imaging. I'm a recording engineer, not a drummer, so don't beat me up in the comments. So we've recorded the drums. I wanted to bring in the control room just so I could show you a couple of EQ tips and then have you listen to uh, the final product uh, mixed. So there's no compression, just a little bit of EQ and rebalancing. And so you can check that out. I'll provide screen grabs of all my plugin settings and a downloadable link so you can grab the files and mess around with them if you like. All right, bye-bye.